So today's episode is not your general capsule wardrobe. No, today's episode is all about creating your own edgy classic capsule wardrobe. friends welcome to today's episode i'm very happy that you join me here today we're creating a capsule wardrobe and it is going to be an edgy classic one because well that is my style and that is what i speak to on this channel but i also think that an edgy classic wardrobe is such a great way of having a timeless wardrobe that is also very unique and creative and very much reflects your own personal style. An edgy classic wardrobe is a balance of essential basics or essential classics, I should say, then paired with contrasting styles, bold pieces, statement pieces, whatever it may be, whatever works for you, then creating your own personal edge. So we're not talking about edgy necessarily in the obvious sort of stereotypical way of meaning like leather, studs, whips, chains, no. I'm going to be including affiliate links for all the things that I'm showing. If something is not available, I will try my best to find an alternative. Sometimes it's just not possible. Most of the links will be included in the YouTube affiliate link, so you can find that in the pop-up here, and you can find it in the description down below. If you hit that more button, it will expand and you'll see the little buttons. In this video, I will have the hyperlinks included in the actual description down below as well. Make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video because I will be sharing my 10 favorite looks with my signature Emily Wheatley video montage. All right, enough of that. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, choose your anchor pieces. Anchor pieces are going to be the pieces that anchor your wardrobe. We're going for the good stuff first. So in the anchor pieces, we're going to choose the pieces that are probably the most bold, that maybe are a little bit more unique. Maybe there's like a little specific detail that makes them a little more special, uh, a little bit more difficult to style sometimes. The idea behind this is that you're then making it so that everything else within the wardrobe, within the module, is going to revolve around these pieces versus you trying to match these pieces to everything else in your wardrobe. So it really makes it a lot more effortless. So we're making the hard part easy, if that makes sense. So choose those specific pieces that you're super excited about that bring the edge and then we can work around it. So let's take a look at the anchor pieces that I've chose here today. All right, so anchor pieces, I've got four here today. First off is a pair of oversized overalls from Free People. Yeah, so I chose these as one of my anchor pieces because I felt like it was just kind of a fun, youthful, playful sort of thing to bring in to sort of contrast with my sophisticated pieces. It's also a little bit more bold, um, a little bit more daring. Not everybody, you know, can pull them off or not everybody wants to pull them off, I guess. Um, but they appreciate it when people do, you know, or so I like to think. Um, so I thought these would bring great contrast and great edge to the wardrobe. As well as that them being black adds a little bit more edge to them. Our second one is also, again, from Free People. This is a cropped double-breasted blazer. I was fully pulled in by this because obviously I love blazers. So I love that this has that cropped fit because it's something I do not have in my wardrobe. So it just gives me another option. I also like that there is like a little bit of edge to a cropped blazer because it's not your normal sort of blazer. Uh, so I feel like you know, having that cropped length adds like just a little, you know, edgy detail to it. So good place to start. Next one is this cropped tailored shirt. Yes, this is uh, from Nordstrom's BP brand. I thought what would be kind of a fun thing to bring into my edgy wardrobe is just a, like a light little pop of color. So this is a good example of giving something a focus, whether it's a color or a print, um, or it could even just be like a style mood. So I wanted to include this in the anchor pieces rather than, you know, in the other pieces because I want to make sure everything can go with this top. Again, I love this really specifically because it is like a tailored fit, but then it's cropped, 
which again, you don't really see very often. And again, it brings in that little bit of youthfulness, that little bit of playfulness to something that is otherwise known to be more uh, sophisticated, mature. Um, so I love that juxtaposition. And our last anchor piece is this faux leather crop top from Spanx. I love how you can style this underneath things to have that kind of little bit of pop. But I also love the unconventional layering option of layering this over top a shirt or a t-shirt, whatever it may be, uh, just kind of brings in a little bit of that edgy uh, sort of detail, a little bit of that interest that you know I love. Wanted to make sure everything kind of works with it. Anchor pieces do not all have to go together. They are just sort of the anchors and everything else has to work around them. So these don't necessarily need to be paired together. If they can be, cool, that's a bonus. So there we go. Okay, so next is going to be the pairing pieces. Pairing pieces are just as they sound. They are the pieces that you're going to pair with your anchor pieces. So as an example of this, normally a lot of times when I create a capsule wardrobe, again, if you've seen my previous videos, a lot of the times I start off with bottoms because it's easy to build off of that. Because if you have bottoms in your anchor pieces, then your pairing pieces just all need to be tops. And that is a fine way of creating a capsule wardrobe too. It makes things less complicated. But yeah, when we're doing it this way, eh, you gotta be a little bit more mindful in choosing your pairing pieces because ultimately you gotta, you gotta pair up some stuff. So that means that if we have a bottom, a top, and a blazer or layering piece within our anchor piece, that then means that within our pairing pieces, we need to at least have one top to go with that bottom. We need to have at least one bottom to go with that top. The blazer, you kind of need to make sure you have another top and another bottom to go with it because obviously you can't wear a blazer without a bottom or a top. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the pairing pieces. All right, so pairing pieces, I've got five. Pairing pieces, I always like to have like a range. Because we're packing a punch with edge in our anchor pieces, I'm sort of going a little bit more basic, a little bit more classic with my pairing pieces to balance out that more bold, edgy flavor in the anchor pieces. So I've gone with three sort of basic tops, We've got a black boxy crop long sleeve, white long sleeve crew neck, and a gray fitted turtleneck. Got all my bases covered with the black, white, and gray. Gonna be easy ones that I can swap, uh, layer, so I'll get a lot out of these three tops. All of them at the core are sort of casual, but they're all sort of different forms of casual. So we have a more sophisticated casual with the turtleneck. We have a more basic sort of casual with the white crew neck, and we've got a more youthful uh, basic with the crop top. So again, they're all kind of bringing in different moods, uh, which is good too. So you have that range, but all easily can be paired with all of the anchor pieces. The other two pairing pieces I have are these 90s crop mid-rise loose straight from A Gold and these mother denim half pipe ankle jeans. I wanted to have some additional bottoms options to the overalls because you know, you're not always feeling the overalls. And I wanted to just go full force with the jeans. like. Uh, I'm not messing about with anything else. Like jeans are really what I want to wear. And I feel like they bring just like a good um, base to, you know, that edgy classic vibe. So I love that. They're easy to style, great for capsules, um, but we've got kind of two different fits. These are like a high rise, really form fitting, tight fitting type jean uh, with a wider leg and crop. And the A Gold, are more of like a mid-rise, more relaxed with a sort of straight leg. I like that again, these are gonna give me two different kind of options um, and really bring in that diversity. Both will go with all of the anchor pieces, well, besides the overalls, obviously. Now it's layering pieces. Pretty self-explanatory. It's just the pieces that you are using to layer on top of your outfit. This is obviously going to be your sweaters, cardigans, blazers, jackets, etc. Now the thing with layering pieces, they gotta go with everything. Yep. So layering pieces need to go with all your pairing pieces and all of your anchor pieces. Try to also include a range of things. Don't have like three different cardigans as I have done sometimes. And the reason for that is just, it doesn't create a lot of diversity. So if that means that you need to go back and make some tweaks, maybe to your pairing pieces, then you can do that. You can always go back. Cool, let's take a look at what we got. We've got three. Well, technically we've got four because we've got a layering piece in the anchor pieces, but additionally, we've got three here. So we've got an oversized grandpa cardigan from Everlane. We've got a vintage 
Vikings sweatshirt, secondhand purchase from eBay. And we've got this Quince cashmere vest. So again, as you can see, these are all sort of bringing different moods to the wardrobe. So it's giving me a range of options, uh, but also all being very classic, very clean, um, easy, diverse to put with anything in the wardrobe. Okay, so now we have top off pieces. Top off pieces are going to be the things that top off the look, which can be a coat, your sort of outerwear, or shoes. Same sort of rule of thumb, whatever you're bringing in here needs to go with everything else. So it needs to go with the layering pieces, the pairing pieces, and especially the anchor pieces. Yes, because again, the idea is you want to make this effortless. You don't want to have to think about it. So let's take a look at what we got for top off pieces. We've got three. My Everlane re-wool, recycled wool overcoat. Then we have the Jeffrey Campbell Millennium boot. They're pretty timeless. A wedge platform boot doesn't really ever fully go to style. Of course they are fully, fully on trend right now um, as like the millennial, millennium type uh, style is definitely here. And I'm here for it because it's obviously my coming of age uh, time. So yeah, I'm happy to repeat that. I like just like the classic clean sort of silhouette of it. I like that this can be either dressy or it can be more casual or I guess elevate your more casual pieces by being that like edgier contrast. The other pair that I'm sharing here today are these chunky vegan leather loafers. These are from Ne Vegan. Again, great because they've got that sophistication. So I like that when I pair them with my more youthful, more casual stuff, they're going to instantly add that bit of elevation, but also super comfortable, easy to get on. So just again, giving me that function. So, so far, as you can see, we are in a good place because we've got a range of moods, just meaning we've got casual, sophisticated, as well as that we've got a range of functions. So just always be mindful of what you're bringing in and how you can balance it or what you can kind of bring in to be its counterpoint. Because anytime you're doing that, that's what is pushing it further. And just by playing with different combinations, that's really what makes it unique and customized to you. And lastly, sprinkle pieces. So this is going to be where you're bringing in your sprinkle of extra style, your sprinkle of details, and that is ultimately going to be your accessories. Now, the thing with accessories and with sprinkle pieces is that I do think this is an ever-changing one. Accessories are a fantastic way of bringing diversity and a change up to a wardrobe. You wanna make sure that you're loving this wardrobe for a really long time. And so I think that accessories or sprinkle pieces are the way to kind of always keep things fresh. Let's take a look at what I've included here today. So sprinkle pieces. So I'm just using my go-to everyday purse in this because I just love the classic look of it. This is again a vegan leather. This is a purse from Simbono. Simbono? Simbono? Yeah, I just love the sort of elegance that it brings to my more casual edgy vibe. As well as that, it ties in the texture of both of my shoes. Because we've got a lot of cozier textures in here, I love bringing in that more smooth with a bit of a shine sort of texture and it's just fun that it ties it together because when you have a little tie-in it doesn't even have to be a big tie-in just a little tie-in it really brings a look together of course we're bringing in <laughs> my bandana scarf because it wouldn't be my wardrobe without a bandana scarf it is my signature currently <laughs> my 2023 signature because it's an easy one that i can just throw on whenever i'm feeling a little bit you know a little naked up on the neck area, in the neck area, um, or if something's feeling a little bit basic, a little bit boring, I just throw this guy on. Or if I'm having a bad hair day, bing, bang, boom, and turns into a bandana, like bippity boppity boo. I'd also say that this is a perfect example of little things that you can bring into your edgy classic wardrobe. I talked about last week about the benefits of having a style uniform, um, you know, bringing in those signature pieces, those signature silhouettes, those signature accessories to really make something your own and something that you can just continually repeat. This to me is like a perfect example of something that works for my style uniform. So if you can have an accessory or a piece or something like that included in your capsule wardrobe that is, you know, your sort of signature uh, or is a signature piece for you, 
that will also really elevate your look um, and again just keep it really cohesive with your style uniform with with that um, sort of approach. Then I wanted to bring in just another option for a scarf and that is a silk tie scarf. Um, I got this one from rodstaker.com. It's a little bit more elevated than say the cowboy scarf. Um, again sort of like a signature for me because I'm always wearing, I wear scarves quite often um, and I really love the tighter fitting scarves just because I love that sort of elongating it adds to the neck. Um, because I, also because I have short hair, it's just like a nice little detail um, to add. But yeah, so it's a nice little counterpoint to my cowboy scarf. And again, bringing in some options so you always sort of can play with those different ranges. And my last little sprinkle is this beanie from Madewell. When it comes to my beanies, I like to have a pop of color because my wardrobe does not normally consist of a lot of color, as you guys know, because I think it just then adds a little bit of fun, a little bit of flair to my outfit. I do wear actually be wear beanies inside a lot, a lot, especially on bad hair days. I chose the cobalt blue because I wanted it to tie in with the blue in my stripes. So that is another thing to just kind of be mindful of when you're creating the capsule wardrobe is if you have a specific color within your anchor piece um, or within there, um, it's great if you can then tie in that color somehow. And to me, this is just a simple way of tying, tying it in uh, without like a big commitment as well as that it goes with everything else in here. Um, and it even ties in with the blue in the blue jean. As somebody that used to be a visual merchandiser curating the visual appearance of a store, you want your capsule wardrobe to come together as if it is something that is on display because what it does is it invites you in and as well as that it then makes it a lot easier for you to style, to come choose your pieces. It just makes you want to get in there and, and get dressed versus being overwhelming, which is a bunch of shenanigans happening all over the place. You don't know where to begin. Whereas this, you, you, you can see where you can begin. So, okay, so those are the five steps to curating or building your capsule wardrobe. All right, so now let's take a look at my 10 favorite outfits from this capsule wardrobe. <laughs>
caliente que el sol y más cool que este outfit azul Es que estos bolsillos pesados nos ponen los pies en la tierra que recorro manejándome el Lambo Yo soy la reina, aquí no necesito tu Rambo En mi estado natural Como fluye la cascata Se apresura su llegada Me está tocando en la entrada ¿Quién me? Dinero What'd you think? Which one was your favorite? Comment down below and let me know. All right, my friends. Well, if you did enjoy today's episode, if you found it helpful, if you found it at least entertaining, uh, then make sure to give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and click the little bell to get notified when I post new episodes. All of this really helps me out, helps me to break through that algorithm wall so that more people can see this face. All right, fashion friends, you have a beautiful, wonderful, whimsical, rest of your season. Make sure to stay healthy, stay safe, love, and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye!